Hey guys, I'm back. So if you just saw my other video that I did, um, I went ahead and showed you a whole bunch of new products and things that I received. Um, also, a bunch of that I didn't even pay for, which is phenomenal. This company, I can't say enough about it, and I love what I do. So this to me is not even a job. So don't mind the hair. I just kind of pinned it all back. It's getting a little warm, but I'm trying something different because my hair is short and... I just didn't do it yet, so we're just going to focus on makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead real quick and use a shine wipe because I did try out something at my last video. Um, let's hope that Facebook does not kick me off this time. I'm going to go ahead and pin my website real quick. Feel free to invite any of your girlfriends or share this. I appreciate anybody who goes ahead and supports me and um, by sharing really helps to spread my videos. Um, just do this real quick. Oops. Oh, yay, it saved me in here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. Sorry, I'm a little shaky here. And we are going to go ahead and just pin that. Okay. So I'm just going to use a shine wipe. I love these. I probably should have ordered more of those as well. Next order. Um, because I did just run out of my eyebrow pencil as well. So I'm just going to use this to wipe off my face real quick. So we have a nice fresh canvas to start with. Think of it as building any kind of house or foundation or anything like that. You need to start with the first layer of bottom. And I just love these. Okay, so what we got going on right now this is great this keeps my hair right out of my face for makeup so maybe this will make it easier oops I could rip my earring out okay all right so I'm gonna let that dry real quick and then we oh might need some hair probably cat hair I was playing with my kitties before I hopped on here so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some girlfriends and you can do the same if you see the live button up in the corner or middle, wherever it's at, that means I'm still on. If not, you're catching the replay. Just leave me a message or a comment. Let me know you were here or what you thought of my video. If there's anything that you want to see, I'm happy to do that too. All right. All righty. So we'll see if I did this correctly. I'm still learning some of this as well. So really, it's a learning process. We can all do it together um, and hope that it's not a disaster. And if it is, that's all right. As you know, we'll just roll with it. That's what I do. Just roll with it. Okay. Let's see if this will let me add anybody. It's really weird to see myself on two different things here. Okay. We're just not going to worry about that. Good enough. So if you pop on, say hi. Uh, let me know... Where you're tuning in from? What's your, how's your day going? What are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to prime my face. Prime my face. But I need to get... So there's not lots and lots. I can't talk today either. Um, no different than any other day. Lots of vitamins and everything that are um, in the Shine Wipes. And they make your skin feel amazing. And I absolutely love them. It's quick and easy on the go if you need to take it off. I use it to take off my makeup beforehand before I wash my face most always. Not all the time, but, um, so a little bit of primer. I hope the lighting's a little better today, and let's hope that I don't get booted off this time. It's raining and stormy out again. It's kind of on and off, but the... Weekend hopefully will be better. I'm in upstate New York. You never know what the weather's going to be like. It's really true. One thing is true about New York. That's it. Okay. So I am primed. I'm actually going to just wipe off the top of my eyebrows a little. So I'm letting that dry. I do know that I need to switch. So I'm going to use... I think it's prim. Hopefully I grabbed the right one. Um, in place of my eyebrow pencil, or I could use my brow obsession, but it takes a little bit longer. We're just going to kind of pop some on here real quick, just so we can look like we have eyebrows. Look, they're growing in now. 
they're looking more full. This is what I get with my hair being lighter. Down here usually turns blonde and they disappear. Um, but also from, you know, growing up when you plucked your eyebrows and that was just what you did. And at one point, I think thin was like the way to go. And well, lesson learned, joke was on me. But that's all right. Just gonna make sure this color should work. So um, this is an eyeliner, but multi-purpose everybody just use it for what you need it for um some people even use which i'm going to try splurge creams to do their eyeshadow because it dries from a cream to a powder finish so i'm gonna give that a try also all right that seems pretty good for now i don't know where some of my stuff is at the moment so we're just going to use what we have and that would be my hands okay so i'm going to put on the bb cream in honey warm in here okay I'm just so happy it's Friday anybody have any plans for the weekend let's go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna stipple this all over this isn't gonna give a full coverage but for me I don't need a lot of coverage and sometimes I don't want a lot of coverage this is just going to give you a nice even skin tone. Just get right up into the hairline. Get everything to blend together. I'm actually kind of happy. <laughs> as much as I love the sun. The weekend's going to be nice, but I'm kind of happy for a little storm or something tonight. I think we're going to um, start Slasher on Netflix, and I'm excited for that. I know I'm crazy, but I don't know where it came from, but I love watching... Um, Crime, violence, I know it's horrible, but I can't get enough of it. I feel horrible, especially on the ones that are true, but I'm intrigued and I love the people that do what they do to resolve and find if they can. And sadly, they can't always do that, but your girl has an addiction. So if anybody has recommendations of something that I might not have seen, but um, I've seen a lot of them, or if you need recommendations... <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get right up into my hairline, which is super short right there. Blend, 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 blend. Listen, if your arm's not a little sore, <laughs> you're not blending enough. I should probably start blending, I say all the time, with my left hand because, I don't know, I'm right hand dominant. Certain things are more precise, I think, with my okay i like to get right in here because that's where i feel like i'm always rubbing or if i touch i like to do a little extra there okay moving on shade stick taking the light one and i'm gonna just use the light underneath my eyes much of this is like what a warrior goddess looks like or huh, Kimmy, when she watches this, will surely remember when I, um, I'm pretty sure there's photos of it somewhere too, which I'm not so sure about, but when I did my face up like a cat. You know, like I said, makeup has, uh, it's not fun. All right, that's more than enough. Um, and then I'm going to take medium, and I'm going to use that side because it's a little bit darker brought that up a little high but that's all right we will work with it we're gonna contour 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 I don't always do my nose but I'm trying new things so chin chin that's your slimming effect how's that is it Halloween all right and I'm gonna go in with gonna use my um 
my little blender ball that uh, I think it's underneath here. So we're just going to use the same concealer brush that we used before. And I'm stippling, which is you're pressing it into your skin. So if I was to do it slower, I'm literally just pressing this into my skin. And when you get going, you can just press. You don't want to just slide it. You can. It's still going to work. But for me, I want to get it right in there, and I feel like it's going to stay in place a little bit more. Okay. Kind of pinch this together. Make it flat. Right down here. You don't have to press very hard. And then we're just going to go in where we've got the contour. In my hair. We're just going to just blend, 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 blend. Remember, we're not pulling really, I mean a little bit, but you're really just pressing it into your skin. Let, you can see all the little stuff, how it separates this brush. Let your tools, I mean, I use my hands a lot for things too, but sometimes certain ones, this thing is amazing. It just does everything for you. And it leaves such a smooth, I mean, can you guys see that with the, don't check out the brows, but I'm going to get right here. So I'm going to just pinch this again. I could use this side, but I'm going to use this again under my eye. I'm going to wipe it off, but for now, I'm just going to use this. And then this, I am kind of just pulling up and down, maybe not stippling as much, and that's just going to give more of a narrow effect right there. Okay. Building our foundation. I'm just putting on my face. That's what my grandma says. Go put on your face. Okay. So I'm going to just move this stuff out of the way. We are done with BB cream and that. Okay. So I'm going to go in with Malibu. This is actually coming in the kit now if anybody purchases that fantastic makeup bag, diaper bag, lab tack bag, travel bag, whatever you want to use it for. That big, huge purple one, which I happen to have right here. Whoops, there goes my brushes. This ginormous, beautiful thing for $99. Don't forget, ladies, gentlemen, everybody, till the end of the month, um... You can get that whole bag, the kit, and everything for $99 with your affiliate link, and you don't have to do anything, but you can still make money. So this is replaced instead of Hermosa, and that's going to come in your bag. So we're going to go ahead and apply this right over what we just did with our contour from our duet stick. Remember, one side is dark, one side is light. I have done my entire face just using this because sometimes a girl's just on the run, and she's got to go. We don't have time. Okay, so I'm going to take just a, actually I'm going to use my contour, there it is, and I'm going to just take this, you've got a matte side and a shimmery side, it just kind of mix them together, fine, and you're just going to go over what we did before, don't worry, we're going to look like we're a warrior princess for a little bit here, but I promise we are going to blend. Everybody knows what I say all the time, blend, blend, blend. Everybody, anybody who does makeup is going to tell you to blend. If you're not blending, you're not going to get, and it looks like a lot, but I promise I'm going to blend it. Okay. I'm going to go in with just a fluffy brush, kind of tapered on the end a little bit. And we're just going to blend this in. So you're going 
right in here. I come a little higher too, just because of the shape of my face, but you can do whatever works for you. Some people bring it all the way down. Some people only bring it to here. It is a personal preference. So we're just going to, oh my God, a little much there, but we're going to fix it because we're going to come back with powder at the end. That's all right. I'm all tan anyway, so it still matches. We're just going to blend. I actually think I need probably still some on here. and blend it down so everything yeah, these earrings are going to be the death of me today okay and I'm going to go ahead and take Serene this is a blush you can also use it as a highlight I love this stuff I don't know if you can even see if I get close enough, the little specks of like gold that are in there. I use this on my eyes too sometimes. Multi-use everything. Seriously. I have used splurge cream. Sorry, I'm trying to think of the name. I've used splurge cream on my lips. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it as a highlight. You can use these for everything. They're all chemical-free, natural based, mineral based. They can be used on everything. So I'm gonna go back in with that same brush from before should probably get some of that product off um and we're gonna just go ahead and use that in the highlight area and you don't need a lot like barely any and we're gonna go right above and just place that right here so in one of my previous videos i um had asked if anybody wanted to see a skincare routine, and I got a little bit of feedback on that. So later on, it will probably be tonight is what I'm hoping for, unless something comes up or I forgot that we had something going on. But I plan on doing that tonight. And I did just get my Detox Max mask in. Um, so I'm excited for that. So this looks a little crazy right now and maybe a little bit harsh, but we're going to come back with that, so that's okay. And I have a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend out up here where I had a little extra product and a hair. <laughs> we're just going to move that right out of the way. And then we're going to go on to brows, which I'm very sad because I didn't realize that I was out of my brow pencil. So I'm going to have to do a replacement, and I'm actually using an eyeliner. Oops, not that one. That would not be pretty. That's proper. That's way too dark. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> usually do my eyebrows beforehand because the other brush is just so precise and easy. They go right on. This is a little thicker, so you want to have a lighter hand. Let me uh, make sure I'm not all up in everybody's business here or in mine. And I'm going to get up a little close here just so you can see. Where is my brush? So this is just a different one that I have. So you're going to comb your eyebrows out. As you can see, mine are scarce and coming in, but I've been using a little more religiously. Um, oh, my goodness, my hair will not stay out of my face. The serum for it, for my lashes and brows, and I cannot say enough of it. Seriously makes a difference. Okay knock everything over so what I'm gonna do is just come straight across here and bring them down I'm gonna follow my natural line but I'm gonna fill it in a little extra um, because I want a little bit bigger of an eyebrow because you can see there's not really one there okay so we're just gonna come right across right here actually what I'm gonna do old school trick because this is a little thicker I'm gonna brush my eyebrows down I know you're going to think she's crazy, and I need to trim them, but I don't want to do anything to them yet because I'm still wanting them to grow in so they can get shaped properly again. Okay, so brush them down, and now just follow this line across because once you brush them back up, the line's not going to be as harsh. You're not going to notice that it's there. You're welcome. Okay, ready? We're just going to go right in here. I'm not going to talk for a second because I don't want to mess it up. And just trace it right along. And I'm just doing little baby strokes. And I'm still working on my brows. I'll find a shape that I really like and I'll do it again. Doesn't quite come out the same. Okay, because right here, 
packaging. Right here is very scarce. I'm bringing it out a little further and I'm creating my own and then I'm gonna fill it in. So right here where there's like nothing, I'm just gonna make little strokes. And now I'm gonna just bring this right up. So I'm gonna leave my brows down still. I'm gonna fix it in a minute because we still have to come back over here. But I'm just gonna connect them. So it's like saying connect the dots on my face. And then we're going to go down. And it's okay if it comes out a little more than you want because we're going to fix those after. Okay. We're going to take our brush, brush them back up to see where we might have missed. But then I'm going to go in with my palette that I'm holding. Um, and we're going to touch anything up. And I do see, ooh, are those my tweezers? Yay. Probably not the right ones, but this little guy's got to go. You are not welcome there. Okay, so I still want a little bit more, if you can see how it goes right here. And the shape isn't great. I don't feel like that is quite as precise, but I'm going to touch that up, and you're going to see a big difference in just a minute. So I'm just going to fill in right here a little bit more because I want it to come across. And it goes dark and into light. I didn't want that too dark at first. Create your shape first and then fill it in. I feel it's easier. Okay. So it looks a little thick there. Remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. But do you see the difference already? How it just brings the face together, no brow. And I'm not even done, I haven't done my eyes or anything yet or finished my face, but. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of leave this the way it is for right now. And then I'm gonna come in with my artist brush pencil. And I'm probably going to use the pink that's on here. I like the color of it and we're gonna touch that up. And then after, if I need to, I'll take the powder and fill it in because I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm never happy with these. So I'm just gonna have to leave that be because if I keep messing with it, I'm probably just going to make it worse. I feel like I have a gap right there. And so you can also, my hand's probably in the way, instead of going down, you can kind of make strokes, and sometimes they go in this direction, whatever direction they're going to create them. So pull downward this way. I'm actually pulling it into the lash, or my lashes, the brows that I do have. Okay, just go ahead and give them a little brush. And that one's done. We're going to leave her be. This is, I don't really know which one is my bad side, so to speak, because I'm just practicing. You gotta, eyebrows have always been something that I never really, they're important, but I got frustrated, so I gave up on them. So I'm going to do that same little trick and take your brows and brush them down. Like straight down. And you're going to see the top of where your brow hairs are, and you're going to kind of follow that line. So I'm very lightly going to hold on to this because this is a little bit thicker because this is an eyeliner, but we're going to use it in place. And we're going to try to mimic what we did on the other side. Like I said, they're not going to be exact. I mean, some people get them where they look exact. I'm a little jealous, but they are what they are. And just remember, if it becomes too much, you can fix it. I think I'm actually better at this eye than the other one. I don't know why. I think it's shaped better, so it's much easier to fill in. I just have to follow it. If anybody has any questions on anything or anything that you've seen on here or anything like that, just let me know. Okay, so right here is where I kind of have that little bit of a gap, but I'm not going to go across. I'm going to bring it down. I don't know if you can see here. I'm going to bring it down and mix in where those hairs would be. 
that are kind of missing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it for a second, take any kind of brow comb and brush them back up and see where you might need to add a little more. And for me, it's gonna be right here on the outside and then connecting this together because I feel like it's a little thicker on this side. I feel like these also, when you're gonna use um, an eyeliner in place for something, keep an eye on it because it is a little softer and it's thicker, so you might have to sharpen it more. Um, but hopefully not because then you're probably using way too much, but it happens. And I can say that because I've done it. Okay, and another trick, I don't like how it is right there, but I'm gonna fix it after. Um, another trick is if you do fill in your eyebrows and you're somebody who is practicing like me or working on it, trying different shapes, um, if you find a shape or something that you like, so sometimes maybe you want them a little thicker and sometimes a little thinner, do not tweeze the ones that are there until you have your eyebrows done. Does that make sense? Because you don't want to take away one that actually might be helping and blending in. But if you did this and saw one down here or over here and you know that's not in your general area of where you're working on your eyebrows, then you can get rid of it. Like the one I did a little while ago because it was just popping right on out and it didn't belong there. Okay, let me just check this side. Okay, so this one's a little thicker on top. But I think I like that a little better. So I'm going to add just a teeny bit and then we're going to go ahead... and uh, show you how to fix them. I don't know how that looks. This lighting is not the best. That has been a work in progress. Like we said though, they're not gonna be exactly even, so I'm not gonna keep messing with them. We can always come back. And I'm just gonna brush them out. And now we're going to shape them. Okay, Brow Artist Pencil, where are you? Here you are, right here. So we have a flat end. I got a good little hair on my nose, it itches so bad. And we have an angled end. Um, I like both, but for this I think I'm gonna use a flat end because I wanna cover a little bit more surface area. Moonstruck Obsession Palette. This is a wax, your two colors. So this is the blonde palette, and then these are for highlighting. This one has a little pinkish color. This is more of a neutral. I personally like the pink but there's junk on there, so we need to move that first. Ah. Sometimes it just transfers over, so we're just gonna wipe the top little layer off because that little bit of dark, I definitely don't want to mix that in. Okay, take your brush and you're gonna want a good amount on here. And what I like to do is You can pick top or bottom. I like to do, it doesn't really matter either or, whatever I'm feeling. But I can see that it's a little bit with the shape of my eyebrow, but I want to change it a little bit. So I'm going to just place this here. And I'm not even really going to move the brush. I'm going to move my head. You see how I just kind of turn? So what it does is the brush is here. I'm turning, and it's just going to follow that arch. And then we can always put it back in if we've taken too much off. And then we're just going to do the same thing. Ooh, what is it with these hairs and everything today? You don't belong there. Okay. And we're going to bring this right in on the bottom. I know it looks absolutely crazy, but I promise you it'll all come together. But this is much harder doing on camera with one hand. And it probably looks like and I do have a couple hairs that are not really cooperating where I want them okay so it looks crazy for a minute and that's okay I'm going to brush my eyebrows back up again 